The Tarpon Springs Sponge Dock. Yeah. What are you trying to say? The Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks. Oh. <laughs> Like they said in the movie Jaws, I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. These are soul wings, and those are the dragons, the littler, the, the one that Barry's got there is a okay. dragon. It's, it's a, this community is amazing. Uh, Here this week we're in Traveler's Rest. Which is near Dade City, Florida. Yep, so it's about an hour um, north of Tampa. And sure. this is a little bit of a different type of park. They call it an RV resort. Right, right. But it's a an adult community. Mm -hmm. So 55 and older. We've just come from the dog park. They had a dog blessing. So we took Monty and Zephyr over and had them blessed, whatever that means. Well, they're good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're going to be better dogs for us now. Oh, yeah. Could be. But they were pretty good. Yeah. That in your name? His name is Monty. He's very Monty. shy. Okay. Zephyr, you're not quite so shy. <laughs> Zephyr, you are a blessing created by God for the joy of your people here on Earth. I wish for you, I pray for you, long life, good health, and much happiness. We're going to continue along our walk, see yep. what there is to see. Yep. So, come on. Come on, guys. Let's go for a walk. You too. Springs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that was interesting. It's known to be the sponge, sponge capital. Sponge comes from capital of the United States, I think, at least. Mm -hmm. um, it's where the sailors or the divers go and sell their sponges that they collect off of the Gulf of Mexico. Apparently the Gulf of Mexico is um, a very prominent place to harvest sponges. Yeah. Unfortunately it was pretty chilly the day when we were there so cool. we it was sunny but boy it was pretty chilly it was pretty chilly it's like any touristy town it has a lot of shops to go into <clears throat> and of course you can buy sponges what i thought was neat about it was the greek influence mm -hmm. apparently the greeks are the sponge divers which would make sense because uh, you know, mediterranean but a you know, very big greek influence uh, the restaurants um, some the of the shops. shops and such, yeah. Right, we found a bakery where we bought a oh, couple of uh, yeah. treats. Yeah, Greek bakeries, best. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they got SpongeBob. So, the Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks are quite interesting, really. This is a neat little section of town. It's got a very big Greek influence, and there's a lot of Greek restaurants and bakeries and such. Uh, right, and we down, did I guess have to stop and buy a couple of pastries. Yeah, definitely. 
But if you're here, definitely go to Spongerama and check out the little free film about sponge diving and such. It's really interesting and it gives you a little bit of understanding of what the sponge business is here. And, you know, it's, it's actually one of my favorite little stops here on Florida that we've been to. It's, the movie is really interesting and how they um, collect the sponges yep. is really interesting as well. Yeah, yeah. It's something you don't really think about, but it's, you know, very educational to come down here. And there's a lot of little nitch-natchy uh, shops and such. Nick-nacky. That you, nick-nacky? Nitch-natchy? Uh, nick-nacky shops. Right, to stop it and see, but there's also a lot of other interesting stuff, so definitely worth the trip. Yep. So, uh, today we did take the bikes out and rode around the resort and looked at all the different um, trailers and park models, and they do have... No, double wide. Double wide. in the park which I was a little surprised but I don't well, know. Well it's because the park has an Airstream history. Right. That It was uh, built by people who owned Airstreams. It originally was just an Airstream only park mm -hmm. and it still has a lot of that carries through and, and there's a lot of Airstream owners still come here because of that connection. Right and like I said we did see quite a few amongst the village. Yeah yeah so the park is broken up into three sections. There's the village, which is basically built up of double wide homes. There's RV south and north, and that's park models and trailers that are on sites that are semi-permanent. Well, the park models are permanent. The trailers, some people move them out, not, but people own those sites and they park them. And then there's what they call Golf View, and this is the RV park of it, where we're at. And there's about 150 sites here, I think. You know our trailers here that come here and these are the people to come for a month or a week a month or whatever mm -hmm. um we don't you know these are the people here that don't own any of the property the other ones you know the people own the property are actually owners of the park right right in order to get a, a permanent site you have to buy a share yep of sh the park park yeah you have to become an owner of the park and that gives you rights to vote on you know changes and and how the park is run. Mm -hmm. My understanding from the one gentleman we talked to, those shares can be five to ten thousand dollars, or less. Or less, yeah. Depends on what they're going for. If there's a demand for them or not. Right. Um, it does seem like these these sites do turn over, and you know there are pretty much always something available. So if this was the type of living that you wanted to do, or or at some day you wanted to move into this, you know. There's always, you know, a number of sites that are up for sale. Mm -hmm. We saw probably 10 or more with just signs in the window and they have a web page that you can look at. Right. Um, 
This is a 55 and over park. Yep. So you have to be at least 55 years old. Right. And it's very active. Yes, they have over 100 activities. Yeah. Which is amazing. Something's going on every day. Yep. And if you're a golfer, they have, I, I don't you don't know if it's 18 holes. I'm assuming it's 18 hole golf course that, that the park is on. Right. And, you know, look, people are out there every day playing. Well, should we end it? Okay. Well, if you like this video, what should they do, Diane? Subscribe to our channel. That's right, and ring the bell for notifications. And what else? They should give us a, they should, you should give us a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Come here. And I didn't even walk over your line. Come here, up here. Stop, come on, come on. Okay, there right, yeah. you go. You tell the people, oh, they're that way. <laughs> they're over there. The people are over there. All right. You gotta turn around. All right. All right, so, hopefully you'll, yeah, hopefully. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. That's right, because this dog is, you know, dependent on these videos for dog food. If, she, <laughs> if you don't subscribe to our channel, this dog doesn't eat. Oh. And we want to make sure she eats. I mean, look at her. She's wasting away to nothing. Yeah. Not really. Not really. She gets fed twice a day. And that's right. But she likes to travel. And so your, your, your likes and thumbs up this video, make sure she gets to travel to do in interesting places. Until the next time, we'll see you down the road, guys. See you down the road. Bye. Bye.